Hey guys, uh, welcome to another redstone tutorial. Um, this is the second episode and we'll be learning about uh, inverters this time. That's another fairly essential thing that you should you will probably need to use in most redstone circuits and it may be one of the first problems you encounter that you're not quite sure how to fix. So what we did last time was we put a torch on top of a block just like this and we managed to turn it off by putting a power source through redstone into the block. That turns it off. We can also do this with a lever just like that. We can also do it with a pressure plate, just like that, and of course with a button. Now, now what we want to do is say that we have to have the signal coming out this way, like this. Well, the first thing you'll notice is that this signal here is the, the opposite of this signal. Um, this may be a problem in some cases uh, where you need this signal here to be on as well. Or maybe you need this one to be off as well. So they need to be the same state at the same time, pretty much. Which is where we delve into the realm of repeaters. Um, before before the repeater block was introduced, which is this one right here, um, repeaters had to be made manually, and sometimes they're still used because they're actually a, they're sometimes a better option, um, and maybe they're used for different purposes. However, you can use this for an uh, an inverter because sometimes, say, if I have a lever just like this. Um, the reason you'd need an inverter is for usually situations where you the signal the the lever or the uh, button um, by default you don't want it to be on or you don't want it to be off by default you need it to be the opposite. Um, sometimes this can be the case when you're trying to use a door, maybe because if I place a door here, you see now it's powered on, it's closed, and oh well, now it's powered on, it's actually open. So by default we want because this lever is actually switched on. Um, so in this case, we don't actually need an inverter. However, if we wanted this it to be um, the other way around, so when the lever is off, the door is actually closed, um, we, all we have to do that in that situation is just go like that. However, the purpose of a repeater is to simply just invert the redstone signal. Oh, sorry, what am I doing? Um, but yes, you can do it just like this as well. Um, this is a simpler version of creating a repeater. Uh, with only one block and a torch. So you flick that on, that block goes off, the torch goes off, and it goes around like that. So basically it just inverts the signal from... Um, so each section is the opposite of the other. Now if you're not looking to do this, and you want it to... and you want to repeat it, because that, that's a that's an inverter. If you want to repeat it, you can do it the old-fashioned way, which is just like this. This will repeat the signal, so each side has the same, the same uh, current state. However, there's a much simpler way to do that, and that, that's a very old-fashioned way of doing it. The easiest way, of course, is using the repeater block, which we can place like that. And that repeats the signal for us, because as we know that, um, well, some of you may not know, redstone signals can only travel for 15 blocks before they run out of power. So it's not, it's not an infinite distance that the uh, power can travel. As you can see, it fades out as it gets weaker and weaker until it eventually just turns off. So in a situation like this, you might need a repeater just to make the wire longer, and then you can go for another 15 block before you'll need a repeater again. And then of course, if somewhere along the line, you might need an inverter, we can just do it simply like this. And now the signal is the opposite of the one we are sending into it. So that, that wraps up inverters pretty much, inverters and repeaters in uh, one video here. They're pretty simple stuff, really basic. If you need any more explanation, just, just ask me what, what the problem is, and I can maybe make another video on that. So for next until next time guys, I'm Fabliki and thanks for watching.